will dance now. Hello my real ones, this is Real Dense Nay. Hey, hey, hey. Another video from me today. <laughs> of course. Y'all already should know my silliness. And if you don't, welcome to the Real Dense Nay YouTube channel. And guess what? If you have not subscribed, please do so. Like this video. Leave your comments. Please share. And when you guys subscribe, please hit that notification bell for all so that you will not miss one of these great awesome terrific magnificent real ones videos mm -hmm. hey <laughs> i just had to hit you guys with another one but <sighs> I am telling you, my real ones, I have to I have to let you guys know. Whew, when I come out with these videos, I do my research, okay? And <laughs> I was reading um time.com, okay? Time.com has an article about the uh, surgeons about the surgeons actually being uh, successful at a kidney transplant now check this out this was not a ordinary kidney transplant okay so the kidney that they used and this what tripped me out because I did not know I didn't have any idea that it was even possible to use a kidney from a pig yes you heard me correctly from a pig What? Trip me out. I was like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> so I read that article probably 15 times. Inside, back was all over the place. And I was like, oh no. Oh, absolutely not. This just cannot. Are you kidding me? This has to be fake news right of course I'm, I'm thinking fake this got to be some fake news but no it is fact it is real they actually surgeons actually succeeded at, at, at using a pig kidney to surgically transplant it to a human being 
yeah time.com mm-hmm and this was of course recent I, I don't really give out any old news this is current <laughs> this just happened in October 2021 um, in the United States yes mm -hmm. it's this is yeah my real ones it's real so of course I have to go over a couple of facts and how was this actually possible how was this even possible so I did of course some research and I came across a couple of things that really truly caught my interest and um, of course I'm here with this video to share with my real ones kidney from a pig has been transplanted into a human without triggering immediate rejection by the patient's immune system it's a potentially major medical advance that could eventually help alleviate a dire shortage of human organs for transplant. The procedure done at NYU Langone Health in New York City involved the use of a pig whose genes had been altered so that its tissues no longer contained a molecule known to trigger almost immediate rejection. Researchers told Reuters the recipient was a brain-dead patient with signs of kidney dysfunction. Her family consented to the experiment before she was due to be taken off of life support. For three days, the new kidney was attached to her blood vessels and maintained outside her body, giving researchers access to it. The significance of moving, you know, this into a human, I think, can't be understated. Uh, Surgeon Dr. Robert Montgomery led the study. All of the laboratory tests and everything that we did all looked um, pretty normal, you know, in terms of what we would expect when we did it human um, transplant. So two things, no evidence of this, you know, vigorous early rejection. And the second thing, the kidney functioned well. Montgomery said the patient's abnormal creatinine level, an indicator of poor kidney function, returned to normal after the transplant. In the United States, nearly 107,000 people are presently waiting for organ transplants, including more than 90,000 awaiting a kidney. That's according to the United Network for Organ Sharing. Wait times for a kidney average three to five years. The idea is we would need to identify um, individuals who have a really low likelihood of being offered a human kidney um, and have, you know, a poor prognosis on dialysis. And where even, you know, two years or a year of a functioning kidney would be an important thing. Montgomery said the NYU kidney transplant experiment should pave the way for trials in patients with end-stage kidney failure, possibly in the next year or two. Just in case you did not know, pigs are mammals, okay? So with pigs being mammals, I started thinking about well, human beings, we're mammals as well. And my thought <laughs> went way beyond probably what I needed it to, to do. So with pigs being mammals, it started making a little bit more sense to me how this kidney transplant was even possible. Um, okay, so let me give you a little bit more insight. So, all of the major structures found in humans are present in pigs. I did not know that. And yeah, I, I found that out. And so... There are some differences, of course, in the structural details. I mean, that's obvious if you ask me. And, you know, of course, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a, a, a surgeon, you know, 
to make these, th these things actually happen, but it happened. And so, um, the muscles in the pigs and, 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 and basically in humans, we basically have the same muscles. Okay, basically. And, um, in almost every case. So, it made a little bit more sense about the kidney transplant, knowing that fact. Um, the internal organs, when it comes to pigs, have all the same thoracic and abdominal organs as humans and of course there are small differences in a few organs uh, I found that out <laughs> so I found out uterus the pig uterus is of a type called Bicornate, if I am stating that correctly, pronouncing that correctly, excuse me. Um, compared to the simplex human uterus, it has two large horns in addition to the body. Okay, those horns are sometimes confused with the much smaller fallopian tubes. Okay. So let's try to get that, you know, picture that if, if you can. Um, so basically, I'm just going to say this. Urethra, ovaries, uterine tubes, uh, labia, let me spell it for you guys because you know what if I, I will butcher this I know I will mispronounce this particular <laughs> word right here and it's spelled M-E-S-E-N-T-E-R-I-E-S mm-hmm yes okay and basically you know all these things they, they these structures are basically the same in the fetal pig and human. So, the prostate gland, um, those type of things like that. They, they're really, they really are just like ours. And I, 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 I'm, I'm like, whoa. Mammals are really mammals, and huh, I'm going to tell you, I, you know, I don't believe in cannibalism, and since I found out this information, honestly, uh, it turned my appetite off and my taste bud completely off for a pig mm -mm. because <laughs> I'm like well if, if they're that close to us you know with this information that I know now I'm like why would I well, no I would not eat a pig now I absolutely will not do it so hey mm -mm -mm. Huh. <laughs> I'm telling you I'm just I'm just really blown away about it all of this I uh, I really am uh, whew, oh my goodness gracious so on that note um, hopefully you guys have uh, checked out real Disney dot online and make sure you guys check out the real ones merchandise and we also are on Instagram real ones underscore merch so until next time mwah.